Hi there, Sam Sorbo here for The Accidental Homeschooler. That's you. Uh, so today I want to talk about uh, another message that I got. So I'm just doing like answering messages this week. Um, I think right now, even if you homeschool, it's different right now. Moms need to know us homeschoolers aren't able to go to parks, libraries, zoos, field trips. We are all changing our school day. This is a different form of schooling for all of us. And that's okay. I love that. So homeschoolers, what I've found is we have a very sort of can-do attitude because goodness knows we're bucking the system, right? There's a system out there and we are over here. <laughs> and so you, when you mess with our schedules and stuff, we're like, okay, bring it on because I've been there, done that. Like we're not beholden to any one thing. I'm speaking very generally. But I think that it, it is worth pointing this out. It's a very astute observation that somebody sent me off of my um, my Facebook live video. And if you haven't seen the Facebook live video, go over to the official Sam Sorbo Facebook page and give me a like and check out the live videos there on home on home education. Um, I think that uh, that that it it it's worth pointing out that so homeschoolers are out of their element right now too, because everybody's out of their element right now. And we're all on a tremendous learning curve right now. And so um, here's the difference. Homeschoolers are learning all the time. That's what homeschooling is. It's not teaching, it's actually learning. And that's the, that's the big sort of mystery with home education is we think that we're supposed to step into the role of teacher and become the teacher for the child and then we must know everything and and um, I mean, I've been doing a ton of interviews for coronavirushomeschooling.com and um, I'm, I'm honing the message and realizing that there are, there are simple ways to say things, but it's a, it's a transition. It is, it is a full-on transition from when you start to homeschool to maybe three years in when you really start to, to realize what it is. I'll tell you a quick story. This is gonna sound really weird. <laughs> when I when I had my first child, I breastfed him, and I breastfed him for uh, over a year. And but it but it took about a year. Maybe maybe it was after I stopped breastfeeding that my hormones sort of rebalanced. And I will tell you that there was a day that I woke up and I was like, oh, wow. Oh, this is normal oh my gosh, that wasn't normal. I was not normal when I was breastfeeding. And now that my hormones have like recalibrated or whatever, now I'm normal again. And so, and it, and so I'm just saying that it took a period of time for me to, to really, in a sense, bounce back from um, uh, the, the, the pregnancy and breastfeeding. And it's very similar with home education because once you leave the system, the system doesn't leave you. You leave the system and the system's still inside you. And so it takes a while for you to figure out that you're not competing with the system, you're, you're not beholden to the system, that so many things, so many of your, imp, your um, so many things that you that that you have a drive to do are in a sense misguided because they come right from the system um and so it's just it's a it's it's you've got to get out of that mindset and it's very difficult to do it's like asking a fish to describe water they they're in the water they that's all they know and if you take them out of the water then they die right i mean very few except the mud skipper maybe um but my point is, you, you do, you homeschool for a period of time and then you start to go, oh my gosh, so, so that wasn't normal. That was the system. And I'm actually, I'm more like this. And I actually value these things. And you recalibrate and you reorganize yourself and your, your, in your mind and everything. It's, it's, it's a phenomenal transformation. Um, and that's why I, I, my book, I titled it... Uh, 
they're your kids, but it's an inspirational journey from self-doubter to homeschool advocate because it was quite a journey of learning for me. Um, and so uh, going back to this idea that we are all sort of these, we're all kind of messed up right now because of, because of what coronavirus has, has done and, and the, all of its implications, um, we're not able to do the things that we normally do which is, you know, field trips and going to the library and, and all of the just, you know, as, as homeschoolers, we're free. That's one of the joys of homeschooling is we're just free. And we can make our decisions or not make decisions or wear our PJs all day if we want. Like, it's just, there's a great deal of freedom. And now that freedom is, is terribly curtailed. And so, but I love the fact that she, she's obviously a homeschooler. She puts in at the end, and that's okay, because we're, we enjoy that kind of a freedom. We enjoy it. And um, because we enjoy it, we're much more flexible in a sense. And so, okay, we have got to change the plans. So here we go. We're going to change the plans and we're going to do it within these parameters now. Um, and, but I guess all that to say, you know, you're not alone. Uh, just because we've been homeschooling, and we know what we're doing in terms of education uh, doesn't mean that we've got all, you know, that we've got it all figured out and, and this is just a breeze for us. It's a struggle for us too. We're all struggling. So we're, but we're struggling together, right? We're forming a community. It's an amazing thing, the community that we form. Everybody's doing, you know, go to meeting or Zoom or um, house party. I've heard house party works pretty well. People are having cocktail parties online. So you get whatever cocktail you're going to have and they get their cocktails or their beer or their root beer in some cases, right? And then you just sit on the phone. We got together with family last night. It was amazing. We just sat on the phone for 45 minutes with uh, extended family. Um, so, uh, and then, so let's see. So that's what I wanted to say about that. I want to tell you that on um, Thursday, April 9th, I will be in the evening at five and at, I, I think six, I can't remember, um, but it's up on Facebook right now. So uh, Thursday evening, I will be participating in two different online forums for home education. And so I hope you'll join me for one or both of them uh, and we'll have uh, another chat about the joys of homeschooling and, and why it is a fantastic choice for your family. Um, finally, I'll leave you with this one thought because I wanna leave people with a thought. For the day this week flexibility is one reason that we choose to homeschool that is one of the predominant reasons is just the flexibility uh and and that could mean you know sports there's a specific sports interest and your child wants to go to college on a baseball scholarship and so you're just going to homeschool because he needs to work on his game you know that kind of thing flexibility is one of the reasons we choose to homeschool and so if you are a homeschooler and you're struggling right now because your flexibility has been tremendously limited, just understand that we embrace flexibility, right? And part of that flexibility is the ability to limit and curtail and rehone and, and regroup. Uh, and so thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, go over to Facebook and check out what I've got going over there. Um, and go to samsorbo.com and you can email me there with any questions. I'm happy to address them. Uh, and you can also find my books over there. This one and uh, it's terribly unprofessional. This one. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. Tell your friends. Let's grow. Let's grow the movement. Okay. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.